How you doing, folks? Papa Joe here. I, uh, been messing around on Facebook, wandering in and out of this truck stop. Killing time. A, uh, brother of mine in Oklahoma, he did a post a while ago that I really liked. And, uh, it made me start thinking that it gets you in trouble where you want it. I remember the same, but I was hoping to see it anyway. And evidently I'm not. I'm glad it was a easy one to remember. But uh, he said, don't worry about my sins. You won't worry, you won't ever be asked about mine. You know, something to that effect. Let me see if I find him. All right, Kelly, where you at, buddy? Jays. And how many Jays do I have? There he is. Would you him and that baby? Worry about your own sins. You will not be asked about mine. <coughs> there we go. That's what it says. Worry about your own sins. You will not be asked about mine. And ain't that the truth of it? The, uh, in today's world, everybody is so busy worried about your sins and what you're doing that ain't right in this politically correct, corrupt world that we live in, they forget about their own. You know, we've had those saying for years about those at glass houses, don't throw the first rock. You know? We, uh, seen another post earlier that politicians and liberals they are quick to see racism where it's not, hatred that they find they have to create, and all this other stuff, but they have a blind eye to it in their own party. And that ain't, ain't that how we all are, you know? I guarantee you, I'd find fault with you. Now me, I'm golden, but you, you got fault. Really? I think we all got faults. And uh, I think we all need to be working on them. One of my favorite things to tell people is that when we get to uh, heaven, I don't know if I said that right, one of my favorite things to tell people, I shouldn't quite say it like that, but one of the many things that I tell people is that uh, when we get to heaven, good Lord ain't going to ask us about what the preacher taught us or what your neighbor was doing. He's going to ask you, what were you doing? And he's going to hold you accountable for your actions. He's not going to hold you accountable for my actions. Is going to hold me accountable for my actions. So, for me to sit here and throw stones at you and tell you when I get up there, you know what he's going to say. How come you was worried about the speck in his eye when you had the two before in your eye? Remember that verse? Those verses are in the Bible for a reason. So, uh, we need to heat a few of them. I seen that there that my brother posted, and I was like, boy, I like that. I was actually on the phone with my wife, and I read it to her. Told her she need to quit worrying about my sense. Dad gummy. But, uh, 
all this hate and all these this nonsense going on and it's real easy to get caught up into it people it really is uh, we've been being baited for so long and it's not just by the media it's by the evil one by the devil so we because I include myself in it we need to take care you know I used to tell people that I really don't think God needs the internet and Facebook to help him but then again why wouldn't he as I've gotten older and farther into my walk no I'm not buying into that pass this along and God will bless you with this, that, and other by tomorrow. No. Ain't done it. It don't work that way. <laughs> However, I do think he used it just like he did right there with my brother doing that little post to help remind me. And whether God did it on purpose or not is irrelevant. He is using the things of today, the communications of today to work his way so uh, some of my pet peeves on there though I ain't gonna lie to you is is one like equals ten prayers and and one share equals a thousand blessings and and this child is is mentally retarded and can't get no likes or shares and and this is, my mom says I'm not beautiful because I'm disabled. And, and show me the love. Really, people? Really? Stop it. That stuff drives me nuts. Back when I first started the internet, I fell for that stuff. Now it just gets annoying. You know? And, and to me, it... If it was that person, it would be one thing. But in my mind, I see somebody with a warped head that is going around getting these photos from wherever and doing these little sayings and stuff and, and why I can't phantom. You know? But then again, why would you take that mentally little retarded girl and, and they just showed one tonight. That's why I'm talking about it. And she was dressed up in a cheerleader deal. And you could tell she had Down syndrome or whatever. And, and why would you take that child's picture and, and put this all online about how I have Down syndrome and, and share the love and blah, blah, blah. Odds are the child didn't even know that it was being used like that. And since I have found out that People swipe them pictures and, and do this stuff and it just turned my stomach to it. It really has. Uh, don't know how I got there, but I guess the good Lord wanted me to get out, so now it's out. But, uh, hey, we need to worry about us first. Like Grandma always told us, Clean up your own backyard before you start complaining about the neighbor's yard. So, don't throw, start throwing sticks at that neighbor until you know you got the two before out of your eye. Don't worry about his splinter. Remember, God loves you. So do I. You have yourself a blessed evening. Good night. Oh.